Hey guys, welcome back to our to our midweek at three and one. Uh, I'm Pastor Rick, and uh, we are in a whole series. In everything that we are working on at our parish in Lent is about the uh, it's about the, the uh, repentance. And we've been talking. And last week we had forbearance, and here we are to, for uh, today in a great wind, a great wind or a storm, and we're going to be in Jonah. And uh, first few verses of Jonah in chapter 1. The Lord gave this message to Jonah, the son of, of, of Amittai. And get up and go to the great city of Nineveh. Announce my judgment against it, because I have seen how wicked his people are. But Jonah got up and he went in the opposite direction, to get away from the Lord. He went down to the port of Joppa, where he found a ship leaving for Tarshish. He bought a ticket, he went on board, and hoping to escape from the Lord by sailing to Tarshish. But the Lord hurled a powerful wind over the sea, causing a violent storm that threatened to break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the soldiers shouted to to their gods for for help, and threw cargo overboard to lighten the ship. You see, what's interesting is many of us are so comfortable with the modern conveniences and safety of air flight and shipping and trains and all of these things that we sometimes we don't we don't realize that in the past 10 years over a thousand large ships have been lost across the world at sea and we don't hear about them much but now back in 2015 some of you may remember that there was a US flag a cargo ship called El Faro, and it's on its way to, uh, to uh, Puerto Rico. And it sank with all 33 of its members of the, of the crew, because it sailed into a hurricane. And because of that, we, some of us may know there's still risk. See, the point is this, that everyday life still has risk, even whether we don't know about it or not. And sometimes in our lives, Not that God punishes us, but that everyday life presents us with a great wind or a storm or a challenge. And it is that very thing that was necessary for Jonah to realize he needed to repent. See, Jonah ran from the Lord, decided he could do what he wanted. In the midst of the storm, said after I stopped reading, it goes on, the captain of the ship goes down to the hold because Jonah was asleep the entire time, and he told him, wake up and pray to your God and see if your God will do anything. Well, in the end of all of this, Jonah, because of his misunderstanding because with, with, with God, because of his refusal to do what God asked, was awakened through a storm and reminded that he needed to repent, turn away from, that's what repent means, turn away from the direction that he was going and go back in the direction toward God. You see, at that point then, things got better for the ship, and it came back, and the storm quickly cleared, and the sailors worshipped who? Their gods? No. They worshipped Yahweh, Israel's God, for that was the God who provided their salvation from dying in the flood the God who was going to be their God for the future. Yet Jonah, the only true worshiper of Yahweh at the beginning of the trip, was running away. But because of the storm and then the saving grace of God, Joseph turned around, he repented, and returned to serving God. I'm going to guess there's been a few storms in your life. I'm going to guess that some of you who are listening to this now or maybe listening to this a month from uh, from this date are here because you were called because there's a storm in your life and you need to turn around. You need to repent. That's what repent means again. Turn around and go toward God. And to do that, I'm telling you, this is the steps. It's not just I pray to God but you're going to go to Jesus, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You're going to seek Him, follow Him, and as you do that, your life too 
will be changed and you will worship the one true God. And through that repentance, by having faith in that grace, you and the lives of those around you will be made new. Hopefully, you're following us on all of our repentance page, our pages and on Sunday on our sermons. And I hope that if you have made a turnaround, send me a message through, through, through our Facebook page, through, through, through somewhere, through, through an email off the website. Send us a message and hope to see you back in a week.